deliberate creation is delicious and creation by default less so in fact creating by default it's terrible <laughs> if you don't know what's coming to you and what it is that you're doing that is causing it to come then you get into a mode of futility where you're blaming others blaming others needing them to be different and the reason that so often that happens with you is because you are natural harmonizers you are born with every aspect of your being seeking harmony and so if you're not actively aware of your own inner being of your own source and its vibrational broadcast and therefore you are not deliberately tuned in to who you are then your natural desire to harmonize your tuner always being on you're looking for something to tune to now the way you would maybe describe that in your human words is I want to be understood or I want to find my tribe I want to find those who think like I do and all of that seems just fine we're not discouraging harmony we are just wanting you to prioritize your points of harmony we're just encouraging you to understand that you are an extension of source energy and that source energy who remains non-physically focused is broadcasting to you continually and not only is it the energy that you were before you came into this physical body it's the energy that since you've been in this physical body that non-physical part of you has become because you're in this physical body does that make sense to you probably not at all <laughs> you're an extension of source energy sifting and sorting and evaluating and deciding and launching your rockets of desire or rockets of preference and whenever you do that the non-physical part of you who knew that you came for that very expansion purpose is aware of each new thing that you put into your equation as you become more and more in other words every time you know what you don't want what you do want becomes a real thing when a circumstance occurs and you respond to it or react to it which seems like a normal thing to do your reaction of what is unwanted causes an equivalent vibrational launching of a point of attraction of what you do want you cannot be in a moment where unwanted does not produce wanted but what happens is because you're usually wrapped up in the unwanted part of this equation then the wanted goes unnoticed by you not sought after by you in fact mostly you're defensive about what it is you don't want not realizing that you are calibrating to the problem you're calibrating to the what you don't want now the thing that may seem unfair to you about this it isn't but it may until you get the whole picture understood and are actively calibrating deliberately it may seem like when something happens that it's normal to have a knee-jerk response to it and it is but it's not normal to make a lifestyle out of that knee-jerk response it's not normal to band together with others and complain in louder and louder voices about what you don't want because what happens is you practice a vibration that doesn't let you move in the direction of your solution and so this is what's weird and tricky and wonderful about all of this is that the more you complain the more you ask for more the more your inner being becomes the solution the more you focus on the problem the more your inner being becomes the solution so the potential of you tearing yourself apart with your unwillingness or unknowingness to turn in the direction of the solution sooner is what keeps you on edge and you know it's not big things that keep you from calibrating to who you really are it's those petty little inconsequential things that should not be ruffling your feathers but do ruffle your feathers because your feathers are ruffable <laughs> your chain is yankable your goat is gettable 
your buttons are pushable Esther said the other day to our friend I keep leaving my goat out where others can get it I wouldn't leave my goat right out there nobody would get it and there's something to that in other words if you practice if if it is so important to you that you harmonize with this one and this one and this one and this one and this one first of all it's not easy if there's only one of them you can pull it off if you just got one person that you are harmonizing with you can pull it off for a while till you want to kill them <laughs> but if there are two of them or three of them or four of them if there are more people that you are practiced at harmonizing with and if they should this hardly ever happens <laughs> it always happens <laughs> they want different things from you now you're in deep doo-doo because now you have to keep them apart never let two people who want different things from you in the same room at the same time <laughs> because you get outed right away they're watching they're watching to see if you're harmonizing with that one and if you do you're in trouble you know we're right so what we're getting at here we know you get this but you're gonna get it more as we play together today because we want you to realize that you are an extension of source energy and will always be source energy and that source energy part of you because that source energy part of you never calibrates to unwanted that source energy part of you has a pure powerful non-diluted non-contested non-resisted point of attraction that's a powerful point of attraction when that point of attraction is responded to by the law of attraction things move big things move all cooperative components come to that point of attraction but as humans you rarely stay in that pure non-resisted point of attraction for very long because you are so nosy <laughs> you're so wanting to sift through everything and decide the rightness and the wrongness of things and so while all of that is natural to the creative process it is a normal thing for you to do step one step one is where you ask for something and the only way that you can decide what you're asking for is by sifting through some things that you want some things that you don't want in other words it takes that contrast in order for you to define what you want and when you do define it even if you don't speak words to it you launch a rocket of desire that your inner being includes becomes synthesizes molds into that point of attraction which is who you really are and now this fantastic summoning power that your inner being holds because your inner being never resists what is being asked for now there is a strong powerful you could say forceful you could say relentless steady attraction on your behalf and the question that this gathering wants to stimulate within you is where are you now in that equation are you going with the flow with what you want or are you still in a state of protest or validation or defense are you still pushing against what's wrong or are you going with the flow of what's right are you a vibrational match to the solution or do you remain a vibrational match to the problem so as we're moving forward here today we want to talk with you about anything that is important to you nothing is off limit but we want to show you how really easy it is to calibrate to your success rather than letting the conditions that surround you calibrate you and there are a couple of things that we want to emphasize with you one is that if you can calibrate before the condition descends on you you have a much better chance of owning the room of controlling the frequency of yourself and therefore your point of attraction but if you have not gotten out ahead of it if you haven't been deliberately quiet in your mind if you don't meditate on a regular basis or if you're not basking or looking for positive aspects on a regular basis if you're just an observer of life and we want to say to you that most people offer most of their vibration in response to what they are observing 
And in this world today, there is such a plethora to observe of both wanted and unwanted that most people have a very mixed bag of vibration that you are offering at any point in time, which means your goat is gettable. <laughs> it means there's something within you that very well could harmonize with something that someone... So someone walks in the room and let's say into your room, into your space. And let's, for sake of this analogy, say that they have not been meditating and they have not been reaching for alignment with who they really are and they're not in a state of love or appreciation they are really in a mean ornery vulnerable feeling defensive state you work with that person <laughs> or live with that person or are that person <laughs> so that person walks into your space and let's say that you've lived everything that that person is honorary about yourself you also have felt undervalued or unseen or not noticed or not cared for you've had some of those feelings in response to the way your life has been going for you so you have some active vibrations within you because your vibration on every subject is where you last left it now it may not be active right now in this moment but the probability of it becoming active if it's where you last left it and it always is is a sure thing so you didn't meditate and you're not tuned in and you're not tapped in and you're not turned on and you're not feeling good and you haven't been basking you just showed up there where this other person showed up you're not particularly ornery and what's bothering this other person was not active within you but because your vibration is where you last left it and because you're not tuned in to your higher power to your higher clarity to your greater strength then that person is going to dominate the energy space around you that person is going to just be there just looking the way that person is looking and feeling the way that person is feeling and even if that person doesn't say anything he's gonna get your goat he's gonna push your buttons because you didn't do something to get out ahead of it you just sort of blundered into this segment of life experience unprepared for what was there and what's dominant always wins so fix that we've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> so there are a couple of things that we want to say to you there are two ways for you to approach this understanding of how you want to be vibrationally calibrated to who you are and what you really want one is if you get out ahead of it then you have a much better opportunity of not having such a bumpy ride if you don't get out ahead of it you're gonna have a bumpy ride because if somebody's in your space and they're feeling great you probably do too and somebody's in your space and they're feeling rotten you probably do too and probably you are not feeling very powerful or very capable of holding your own because you find yourself up and down it's sort of a roller coaster ride that you're living and so then you usually do what most people do you start blaming others for how you feel which makes you want to join together with clubs in other words you want to join together in groups of people that feel more like you feel so that your ride isn't so rough but it would be like sending out an advertisement you don't call it that on the internet you put your profile out there somewhere everywhere and you announce to anyone who looks which you assume will be everyone on the planet <laughs> see my picture this is me you might run into me and when you do I need these things from you oh the list is long we just received 400 things from you <laughs> of the things that you would let others know that they need to do in order to be in harmony with you seems like a lot a lot of information to get out there and a lot of unlikely cooperation from a lot of people or you could just tune to who you really are and what you really want and you could own the room that you're standing in